Hello and welcome to another Igloo imaging tutorial. This one is on the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator 2021. Pen tool is one of the most basic core tools of Illustrator. Um, very easy to use if you use it a lot. If you've never used it and you're a total beginner, it can be quite confusing. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself an artboard. This one, if you want to follow along exactly, is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And the first thing we're going to do is press P, that's the pen tool. So if you've got your toolbar open, you can find it up here as well. Pen tool, if you click and hold, has got some different options underneath. Add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool, anchor point tool. Don't need to worry about those because I've never actually selected any of those from this drop down menu in my 17 years of doing this. So there are different ways to utilize those functions without having to switch the tool. So the first thing you'll see is either a cross or if I press uh, caps lock, it might change to a pen. Um, personal preference, if you want to use a crosshair or the pen, doesn't really make any difference to the actual functionality of it. It's just what it looks like on the screen. Um, I'm going to scroll down to another artboard I've done. And if you want to follow along with this, then if you've got something like a screen grab or a screen capture, capture this screen here, press pause, capture this screen and save it as a JPEG. Drag that into Illustrator and press Command 2, which will lock it. And then you can follow along with these shapes. So this is just a bit of practice, really, to get you used to using the pen tool. The first thing we're going to do is press P. And I'm going to click. And that has created what's called an anchor point. If I hover over it, there's a minus. And if I click again, it gets rid of it. So click and minus click and then when we move around I can go over here make another anchor point another another and keep going until I want to close the shape when I want to close this shape hover over that start point and you'll see a circle will appear click that and that is now one solid shape with all these anchor points connected to move them around I'm just pressed a which is your direct select tool and you can move these anchor points around if you press P again you can hover over one and get rid of one when the minus symbol appears, or you can hover over and add one in. You can add as many anchor points as you like in and do it that way. Depending on your version of Illustrator, you might see these circles. That's just a round off the radius, but I've done a different tutorial on that if you want to look at that. So to get the curve, you're going to click and click and hold, and then these handles appear. And if we just let go there, and I'll just click again, these handles, once you direct select that point, can then be moved. You can move one in and out, in, out. Again, if you want to get rid of it, just press and hold, add one in, pull it out here. And this one hasn't got any handles. So if you press P and hover over there, then press Alt, click and hold, you'll get those handles again. Now, I'll come along to this in a bit more detail once we start practicing. So let's get rid of that and go over to the first shape we're going to draw, which is a square. I mean, there's obviously easier ways of drawing these shapes, but for the argument's sake, we're going to practice with a pen tool. So click on a corner. And as you can see, it'll let me put an anchor point anywhere. If I hold shift, it's going to anchor it to the nearest 45 degrees as I go around. So I'm going to hold shift up to there, still holding shift to there, to there, and back again. I've just got a blue stroke on this with a white fill. I can dump the white fill so we can still see the shapes. Your stroke width, I'm working with one pixel, which is fine for this demonstration. Let's move on to the sort of hexagon polygon. Move across, holding shift. Now if I hold shift, it's not. I don't need a 45 degree angle this time. So I just need to let go and click into the point, click into the point, and go across. Now, I have done this by eye, and it looks fairly accurate, and I have actually got um, smart guides on and snapped a point. Under view, you should always have smart guides and snapped a point on, it just helps you with illustration. But if I wasn't sure, if I was, say, I had an angle out here, I hadn't quite aligned it up properly, and I needed it to be precise, maybe I'm making a repeat pattern, 
I would actually do it a different way. I would make this angle here, then I would press V and select the shape and I would hold control so you see the double arrows and press shift and drag it across. I would then reflect it vertically 90 degrees. I then know 100% that I've replicated those angles exactly. And then with direct select A, you can select those two top points, and press command J and command J and you've got an exact angle, like for like, reflected. Up to this, we're gonna use the curves. So I'm gonna click over here, click and hold until I see the handles. Press shift on this one, until you get to about there. And it's already drawn my curve in because there's other handles out there. So just click, click and hold, drag out, and click and hold. That's not quite right, so I can grab this handle here holding shift and I can move it out to where it looks good. There we go. Now on this final star shape, I'll just do this one quickly. Now if I get to this point and I command click and I want to go back, if I start here and draw this and then click off, I want to join these together. So with the pen tool selected, just go to your end anchor point. You'll see a little sort of forward slash appear as you hover over it and click. And then you are now anchored to that old path. And if I go to this one here, you're gonna see a square with a line through it. That means it's asking you, do you wanna connect these two points up? And if you click that and then click off, you have now got a shape that you continued using. And we can do it again, press P, go to this end one till you see the slash, keep going around until you're done and there you go now if you're drawing a more complex shape I've just written pen here in a handwritten font and there are a few other techniques to use so I'm going to start here I'm going to draw this and you'll see now this angle isn't necessarily too far off what I want but sometimes you will have an angle that doesn't quite suit what you want this other handle to be so if you press Alt, you'll see a little arrow appear. And if you press this anchor point, it's gonna delete that other half. It's that, that sort of handle prediction that it's made for you. It's gonna delete that. And now P again, and carry on from this. If I drag up here to where I want, it's made a curve, and then this point has no, not got a handle on it, so that's gonna be harsh. So if you go back to it and press P, and then press Alt again, once you see that arrow, you can click and hold and drag out. Now I'm looking at this bottom curve. I get that lined up, which is fine. And then my top, I can go ahead and change these handles until it looks about right. Takes a lot, a lot of messing about and playing with sometimes but practice makes perfect. Go back to P, join on this one. And I'll just go around this quickly. Here's a good example. We've got that other handle pointing over there. So I'm gonna press Alt and click it. That means I've got rid of it. Let's drag it out to about there again. That one I can't really use. So I'm gonna click it, get rid. Just draw one in that I can. Straight up to here. It's a bit of a subtle curve. Again, get rid of that one. And get rid of that one, Alt-click. And as you use the tool, you'll get to learn where you're gonna click. The trick is to use the least number of anchor points to get the smoothest style line. But it does take practice like anything just make one like tweak then it's a stroke so I'm going to zoom out I'm going to select the whole shape and drag the stroke across and get rid of it and there we go we've got a perfect P shape and that is the very basics of the pen tool practice makes perfect I hope this has been useful please like and subscribe so I can keep making these tutorials and I'll see you again next time